Hello everyone. In today's digital age, uploading images is an essential feature for any web application. And if you're a React.js developer, you might be wondering how to implement a drag and drop image upload feature in your project. Well, you're in luck. In this video tutorial, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of building a drag and drop image upload feature in React.js. From setting up the necessary components to handling user interactions, we'll cover all the essential aspects of building a robust image upload feature in React.js. So, whether you're a seasoned React.js developer or just getting started, this video will provide you with the knowledge and tools you need to implement a drag and drop image upload feature in your next project. Okay, we will start making a simple demo. First, I will create a React project with the command npx create react app drag drop images. You will have to wait a bit for the npm packages to be installed. Okay, now I will open the project with Visual Studio Code. Here I am going to write a template, you can follow it on the screen, I won't say much about it.
This code is a React component called Drag Drop Image Uploader that utilizes hooks use state and use ref to manage the state of the component. Import React use state use ref from React. This line imports React, as well as the use state and use ref hooks from the React library. Const images, set images use state. This line initializes a state variable called images using the use state hook, which starts as an empty array. The set images function is used to update this state variable later on. Const is dragging, set is dragging use state false. This line initializes another state variable called is dragging using the use state hook, which starts as false. The set is dragging function is used to update this state variable later on. Const file input ref use ref null. This line initializes a ref called file input ref using the use ref hook, which is used to reference the file input element in the component's JSX. The initial value of the ref is set to null. This code represents a file input element that allows users to select one or more files. The ref attribute is used to reference the file input element, and the onChange event listener is used to handle the user's file selection. This is a ternary operator that displays different text depending on the state of the is dragging variable. When is dragging is true, the code displays a message that says drop images here using a span element with the class select. This indicates to the user that they can drop images onto this component to upload them. When is dragging is false, the code displays two lines of text. The first line says drag and drop image here or, and the second line says browse using a span element with the class select. The browse text is a clickable button that calls the select files function when clicked. This provides an alternative way for the user to select images, rather than just dragging and dropping. Const files event. Target. Files. This line gets the selected files from the files property of the event object passed to the function. If files length equals zero return. This line checks if any files were selected. If no files were selected, the function exits. For let i equals zero, i files length, i plus. This line starts a for loop that iterates through each selected file. If files i type split slash zero other image continue. This line checks if the file is an image by checking if the first part of the files mime type the part before the slash character is image. If it's not an image, the loop skips to the next file. If images some ee name equals files i name, this line checks if the image with the same name already exists in the images state array using the sum method. If it doesn't exist, the code inside the if statement is executed. Set images prev images prev images. This line updates the images state array using the set images function. It creates a new array with the same elements as the previous state array, along with a new object that represents the uploaded image. The object has two properties name, which is set to the file's name, and URL, which is set to a temporary URL created using the create object URL method of the URL API. This code maps over the image's state array and returns a new array of JSX elements. For each element in the image's array, a new div element with the class image is created, and inside it, there is a span element with the class delete and an image element. This is a function in JavaScript that deletes an image from a list of images stored in a state variable using the useState hook.
The div element has a class name of drag area and three event handlers, on drag over, on drag leave, and on drop. These handlers are used to control the behavior of the drag and drop feature. The on drag over function is triggered when a file is being dragged over the designated area. It prevents the default behavior of the browser, which is to open the file when it's dropped and sets the isDragging state variable to true. It also sets the drop effect of the dragged item to copy, which is a visual cue to the user that the item can be dropped at that location. The onDragLeave function is triggered when a file is dragged out of the designated area. It also prevents the default behavior of the browser and sets the isDragging state variable to false. The onDrop function is triggered when a file is dropped onto the designated area. It prevents the default behavior of the browser, sets the isDragging state variable to false, and gets the array of drop files from the event. Data transfer object. The function then iterates over each file in the array. And for each image file, it checks if the file has not already been added to the image's state array by checking its name. If the file is a new image file, it is added to the image's state array using the setImages function, which updates the state and triggers a re-render of the component. The new image is added to the image's state array as an object with two properties, name, which is the name of the file, and URL, which is a URL created using the urlCreateObjectURL method. This URL represents a temporary reference to the drop file, which can be used to display the image in the UI. Okay, in this video I only guide the processing in the client. If you want to save the image to the backend, please comment below and I will do it. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.